Hello, television viewers. My name is Nick. Thank you so much for joining me once again on my channel. Today, I feel like the craftiest bitch on the block, which is why I got creative and put that Japanese hair wax in my hair again to make it silver. I have not worn this since we did that video, and I gotta say, I remember it looking a lot more subtle than this. It's white, but then again, it might just be my fault because I show zero restraint when it comes to applying beauty products. I just slather it on like spackle on damaged drywall. That's how I think of myself. Rotten wood. Anyway, the reason I'm feeling crafty is because we're about to make something really fun. Today, we are making some Jelly Wiggly Bugs. When I asked you guys what craft I should do next, this was overwhelmingly decided upon. I got this out of the $1 section at Target. It was right next to some of the other garbage that I paid for. Without further ado, I think we should just jump into it. But first, if you enjoy videos where I open up toys and play with them, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out and shows me that you want to see even more of this. And if you've never seen one of my videos before, I would love to have you click that subscribe button to join the crew of TV viewers who help me put these videos together by suggesting what I do next. So click subscribe and join the fun. New videos every week. I think it's time to unwrap this thing. Just to give you a close-up look of what we're dealing with here, it looks like we can make some worm type things, some fly type things, and some beetle type things. If I can find this on Amazon, the link will be down below. Let's open it up. This kind of reminds me of like creepy crawlers, if you remember. They were like a jelly bug maker in an easy bake oven type of contraption. So this is like that, but without the oven part. So, after opening it up, I'm actually rather impressed with all of the things that are in here. It looks like three different colors of powder, two molds with a total of five bug shapes, a stirrer, a beaker, this picture of grass for some reason. Here are my instructions. So it seems really easy. Basically measure, mix, pour, it says it takes one minute, play. So he's playing with the bugs on that little laminated paper. And then it says you can store them in your little hut. If I were a babysitter, I would get a couple of these. The kids you babysit are gonna sh themselves and have fun for like a full hour. I've never been a babysitter. I think I swear too much. Also, one time I had to watch the baby of our family friend when I was maybe 10 or 12. The baby slept with one eye open. I thought the infant died under my care. 25 cc's of warm water with one full packet of powder. Oh God, I hate when cups do that. Ooh, I have paper towels, how lucky. Gonna try and keep it clean. I always try to make things look really neat on camera. I just throw the garbage off camera so that it looks like I'm doing a nice neat little project. So that's the proper amount of water, more or less. I think this is the blue powder, and I think I'm gonna fill up these two beetles, the big beetles with the blue. Also, I'm pretty sure that this is all just gelatin, so it's probably non-toxic. Ready? We're mixing our first powders. Yeah, there's a bright blue color. Mix, 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 mix. All right, now we're gonna pour into our little molds. Beetle one. So I maybe overfilled the mold just a little, but that's okay because I can always trim off any excess. That'll help make sure, hopefully, that there are no air bubbles. So I'm just kind of patting it to make sure it fills in all of his arms and legs. <sighs> Let's fill this guy now. What do you think we should call the Blue Beetle Brothers? Name suggestions in the comments for all of these bugs. A little chunky, it's definitely starting to gel up. Oops, that's gonna be too much. Uh-oh, as soon as I get my fingers involved, you know going down. <laughs> I've actually started to just use this stick to level off the molds. Maybe what I'll do since I have excess is fill up a third of the worm with blue and then I'll keep adding the other colors as we go along so we'll have a tricolor worm just like a gummy worm would be. I've noticed that some people hate gummy candy. I love gummy candy. I would rather have that over chocolate. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. We've got our first bugs in the mold. Those will set over 60 seconds, I guess. They look a little chunky. I don't know if that's gonna be a thing, but in either case, I'm gonna go rinse out the cup so that we can start mixing up the second color. A little hot water melted the gelatin right off so that it cleaned out pretty quickly. And that also made me think maybe this is a little chunky because the water was room temperature, not really warm. I got hot water for these next ones. I think we should do the yellow powder next because I think it'll look good next to the blue. The intersection might turn green, which I think would be neat. Knowing what I know about gelatin, you usually bloom it 
or let it absorb hot water. So that might give us a smoother consistency. This is like far more liquidy and far less chunky. The Blue Brothers will just be a little different is all. Yeah, so the runnier texture just filled up that worm all the way. Now let's fill up the fly. Gotta break the surface tension to get it into the legs. No! I knocked a cup of water over. Right on to electronic things. Cleaning up the mess I made. I gotta clean it up. Clean it up. Clean it up. Clean it up. So, as you can probably tell, this yellow bug in the yellow half of the worm is likely going to be clearer and smoother than these jelly beetles, which are going to have like a bumpy texture. I'm gonna clean this excess out, or what can we pour this into? I'm gonna pour the excess yellow into this facial cupping mold that you may have seen in my last video where I suction cupped my face. Maybe I can layer the red and the yellow into this dome, and that way we'll have a little extra boob. Jelly boob. Coming to, Coming theaters, to theaters this, this summer, summer, the classic, the classic story, story of five bugs, bugs and a jelly, jelly boob. boob. Don't miss Don't it. Miss. So I just took the cap off my salt shaker and it makes a handy little stand so that I can keep that level while it sets. When the jelly boob, when the jelly boob, when the jelly boob sets in the evening. P.S. A quick note about the facial cupping thing from my last video. I'm determined to keep doing it. I've decided. Because afterwards, after the bruise healed on my face, my skin did look particularly glowy. So I'm gonna keep doing it. This is a nice like cherry red color. So we're gonna fill up, this is a tarantula, a spider. When the jelly spider sets in the evening. Easy peasy. That one filled up real good. I'm just taking drops of the red and putting them into the head of the worm to, you know, see what happens. But first, let me pour the leftover red jelly into the jelly boob mold. I'm gonna pop these into the fridge very carefully so as not to spill, and then we'll check back in five minutes to see how they are gelling up. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. These guys have been sitting in the fridge and they are firm as can be. I'm excited to announce that the Blue Brothers with their chunky texture have set up just as well as the smooth, clear guys. Also, the jelly boob, I think, is set all the way through. In either case, I'm done waiting. Also, when I spilled that water, it got all over my little sheet of paper, so this is as thin as tissue because I just have a hard time doing things right. Let's demold these guys in the order that we poured them. So we'll start with the Blue Brothers and the worm. Just pulling them away from the sides. And there we go. His arms and legs came off, and I'm assuming that will be a continuing theme throughout this process. But also, it did come out kind of smooth. It's textured on the underside, but here it looks, you know, smooth and clear. Let's try and get this beetle out. Yeah! That came out a lot nicer. That's a pretty successful result, I would say. Sticky. Very sticky, these things. Worm. This one's not so great. I think because it's so thin, it's really delicate. Beautiful. Now for the clear guys. Nope. That didn't work too well. Okay. Both of those didn't hold up very well. My finger went right through them. I don't think it's that big of a deal though, because honestly, we got two blue guys, a couple segments of worm. Am I crazy or is that kind of cute, right? I mean, and again, this was like a toy that cost $1, and I knew going into it that this was just straight up gelatin. It's not some sort of rubber like creepy crawlers were. So frankly, I'm impressed that these ones came out as well as they did because they could have all been a disaster. Oh, but also we have the jelly boob. Jelly boob. Okay. Yay. Even the jelly boob sort of came out okay in like a disgusting, smells awful sort of way. It looks like an infected breast implant that had to be removed because it was causing an abscess. Why do they smell so gross? Jelly boob sets in the evening. What do you guys think of these jelly bugs? Are you disappointed because they didn't come out beautifully like in the pictures? 
I'm not. Let me know what you would have done differently to get a better result in the comments below. And give this video a thumbs up if you'd like me to buy some more dollar store toys and review them on here with you. You can also follow me on social media. I update my Instagram and Snapchat stories every day. But most importantly, if you're new to this channel, I would love to have you click that subscribe button to join the Nick D crew that helps me put these videos together by suggesting what I do next. So click that subscribe button and never miss new videos from me every week. Thank you guys so much for watching and getting jiggy with it with me today. You guys are the greatest. I'll see you next time.